Here's an interesting question involving purchasing music online, and it, it'll illustrate a couple of points. We try to get relevant, pertinent data from the real world from a variety of sources. To me, this looks woefully out of date. I didn't look at that footnote, uh, but I find it hard to believe that three-fourths of teenagers don't buy music online. Uh, but nevertheless, that's what the data is, and so it is what it is. I'm sure it was some year, uh, it's footnoted, so it's real data, just perhaps not last year's data. Anyhow, it says explain why it's not correct to use a pie chart to display these data. And so you think, well, that's weird. I'm not sure why it's not okay. There are percentages. Maybe they don't add up to 100%, so let's check. So I start counting 24, 45, 65, 75, 81, 91, 94, 95. Oh, they add up to 95. Well, where did the other 5% go? Are those the people that are less than 12 years old? No, we're thinking about the problem entirely wrong. This is not a pie graph because these aren't parts of the whole. This number says that 24% of these people bought music online. It's not that 24% of the music bought online was from people 12 to 17 year olds. You catch that? Let me say it again. This 24 doesn't mean 24% of the music purchased was by this age group. What it means is 24% of the people in that age group bought music online. So this is not parts of a whole. That's why it's not correct. So then it says, well, let's make a bar graph of the data. And that's okay. We can make a bar graph. These are uh, going to be my axes. This will be, I'll have to label it percent who bought music online. Percent who bought music online and then down here I'm going to have these age groups 12 to 17 18 to 24 etc and over here I'll list 5 10 15 20 25 so these are percents 5 10 15 20 25 I'll pause it and fill in the rest of the graph and so here's my filled in graph. I would like for these bars to be equally spaced and maybe a little bit neater and all that. But my point is I've adequately represented this trend in data that smaller and smaller percentages of people are buying music online as they get older. That's what we're looking for. That's what's interesting to see. And it was dramatically less for older people um, than it is for teenagers.